So yeah. we, we know it just by looking at different studies and what's an, analyzed in a lot of coffees today, that there's different toxins that contain within them, right? And that may have to do with manufacturer process packaging and stuff like that, right? And so uh, even though there's health benefits of coffee, there's some negative connotations towards coffee that I kind of want to address as well, mm -hmm. okay? And so the first thing I really want to address is what's coffee supposed to taste like? Yeah, I mean, that's a, <laughs> it's a, that's a great question. I mean, yeah. I think, you know, what the, the, the problem is this, um, coffee companies have, have a challenge, which is that they want their coffee to taste the same in Singapore as it does in Seattle. Oh, okay. So what happens is that they roast their coffee to a level where you're tasting a burnt coffee. So in particular in America, you're used to burnt tasting coffee because that's the best way to create a uniform flavor. Mm. What coffee really should taste like, I mean, it's a whole wide range of tastes and chocolates and nuts. And it's just, you know, it's a fantastic, a fantastic drink if you drink good high quality coffee, but unfortunately most people um, are not getting good high quality coffee. They're getting coffee that's over roasted. Wow, so I think for me personally, uh, all I've tasted is probably burnt coffee mm. <laughs> yeah. up until very recently. And so uh, when I, we met in New York, I, I tasted the coffee. I was like, like this, is there some like fruit infusion into mm -hmm. this coffee? Is there something that you're like, no, it's just coffee. Yeah. And I'm like, well, maybe this is what coffee is supposed to taste like. Yeah. 